Hi friends, in this video, we will see how to configure outgoing call routing in Servum UCS. Outgoing call routing configuration for all the extensions in Servum UCS remains the same. Requirements Eternity GENX with Servum UCS SME application or Eternity MENX or LENX with Servum UCS ENT application. Servum UCS SME or ENT license installed. Trunk and extension cards installed in Servum UCS. Consider a scenario. A CO, central office trunk and a mobile trunk is connected to Servum UCS on CO port 1 and mobile port 1 respectively. Case 1. When DKP1 that is 3001 dials trunk access code TAC1, it should get access of CO trunk port 1. On dialing TAC2, it should get access of mobile trunk port 1. Case 2. When SLT1 that is 2001 dials trunk access code TAC1, it should get access of mobile trunk port 1. Let us start with the configuration. We will complete the configuration in 6 steps. DKP parameters configuration, station basic features template configuration for DKP, outgoing trunk bundle groups configuration, outgoing trunk bundle configuration, SLT parameters configuration, station basic features template configuration for SLT. Let us start with the first step. Login to GUI as System Engineer. Go to DKP Configuration followed by DKP Parameters. For other extensions, go to the respective extension parameters, for example, SLT parameters for SLT. Assign a station basic features template from 01 to 50 to DKP port 1. Station basic features template or SBFT consists of features for extensions. We will assign SBFT2 in this scenario. Submit the page. This completes the first step. Let us move on to the second step to configure Station Basic Features Template for DKP. Go to Station Basic Features Template. Go to SBFT2 as configured in the first step. Configure the Outgoing Trunk Bundle Group. Outgoing Trunk Bundle Group OGTBG contains one or more kind of trunks for outgoing calls. We can set different OG trunk bundle groups from 1 to 32 for different time zones namely working hours that is WH, break hours that is BH and non-working hours that is NH. In this case, we will configure OG trunk bundle group number 2 against TAC1 and 3 against TAC2 for WH, BH and NH.
tag are the codes for accessing the trunk lines in OGTBG. There are six trunk access codes, namely tag 1 that is 0, tag 2 that is 5, tag 3 that is 61, tag 4 that is 62, tag 5 that is 63, and tag 6 that is 64 by default. This completes the second step. Let us move on to the third step to configure OG Trunk Bundle Groups. Go to OG Trunk Bundle Groups. Go to OG Trunk Bundle Group 2 as configured in the second step for TAC1. There are 8 members in each OG Trunk Bundle Group. Check rotation if required. rotation is checked, each outgoing call will be routed through the next member to the one that routed the previous call. Assign an outgoing trunk bundle group OGTB from 1 to 128 to member 1. We will assign 1 in this case. As we require only one outgoing trunk in this case, make all other members as 0. Similarly, go to OG trunk bundle group 3 as configured in the second step for tag 2. Uncheck rotation flag. Assign an outgoing trunk bundle group to member 1. We will assign 2 in this case, make all other members as 0. This completes the third step. Let us move on to the fourth step to configure OG Trunk Bundle. Go to OG Trunk Bundle OGTB. Go to OGTB1 and assign trunk port type as CO with trunk port number as 1 and total trunk count as 1. Total trunk count are the number of trunks to be kept in the same bundle. There can be 128 trunks in the same bundle. Similarly, configure OGTB2 with trunk port type as mobile with trunk port number as 1 and total trunk count as 1. Submit the page. If DKP1, that is 3001, dial stack 1, the call will be routed through CO trunk 1. And if it dials stack 2, the call will be routed through mobile trunk 1. This completes the outgoing call configuration for DKP port 1. Now let us see the configuration for SLT1 that is 2001. Let us move on to the fifth step to configure SLT parameters. Go to SLT configuration followed by SLT parameters. Assign a station basic features template from 1 to 50 to SLT port 1. As we have assigned SBFT2 for DKP, we will assign SBFT3 for SLT1. Submit the page. This completes the fifth step. Let us move on to the sixth step to configure station basic features template for SLT. Go to station basic features template. Go to SBFT03 as configured in fifth step. Configure the outgoing trunk bundle group. 
as we have already configured member 1 of OG trunk bundle group 3 as bundle number 2 that is mobile trunk we will configure OG trunk bundle group number 3 against stack 1 for WH, BH and NH. If SLT1 that is 2001 dial stack 1, the call will be routed through mobile trunk. This completes the entire configuration. Thank you for watching this video. For further queries and support, contact Matrix Technical Support Team. For more videos, go to our YouTube channel, Matrix Homsec.